Hey there, fashion friends. Welcome to today's episode. I'm very happy that you are here with me today. Like, ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like. like ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like. If you are new here on this channel, we speak to finding our own personal style that is personal to us, as well as looking at how we can build and curate a wardrobe that we absolutely love. Along with that, I share little tidbits about my own personal style, which is edgy, chic, minimalist. So if that sounds interesting to you, make sure to hit that subscribe button and that cute little bell to get notified when I post my new episodes. So for today's episode, we are building outfits from my edgy capsule wardrobe. Yes. So this video is just really me building some outfits from a capsule wardrobe and showing how those outfits can then be transitioned into other outfits. So taking one kind of core outfit and showing how I swap things out to then change it up into a different outfit and how easily that transition can be made and how effective it is in the sense of how many looks you really can get out of your capsule wardrobe. If you wanna see how I build my capsule wardrobes, I will make sure to link the playlist for my capsule wardrobe videos down below so you can kind of catch up. So with that, I think we should just get, get into this today. To get started, let's just look at the pieces that I'm using here today. Okay, so total we have 16 pieces and we are using the anchor pieces, the pairing pieces, the layering pieces, the top off pieces, and the sprinkle pieces. Those are the five categories that I use to build my capsule wardrobes. I am definitely one that does not overthink my outfits before building a capsule wardrobe, I'm more focused on the pieces that I'm choosing and I'm more thinking how the pieces all circle back to each other. And again, I'm thinking about the diversity. I'm thinking about the range of the functions that I'm getting. And then from there, once I have my pieces, then I'm building my outfits because crazily enough, the outfits are more just the result of the pieces that you choose. And if you are mindful about the pieces that you're choosing, about the different silhouettes, about the different fits, about the different uh, functions, you'd be surprised at how quickly the outfits all come together. I think a lot of people do it in reverse. They think about the outfits before they build their capsule wardrobe. And I think that way becomes a lot more overwhelming. So you got your capsule wardrobe built, great. Now let's build some outfits. So how we're gonna be doing this today is I'm going to be showing you three core outfits. And with each of those outfits, I'm going to show you two alternative outfits that will transition from that core outfit. So ultimately we will be looking at nine different outfits today. Okay, so outfit number one, we are starting off with leggings, the white turtleneck, the cloud turtleneck sweater, the strap belt, and the Sam Edelman chukka boots. in the belt is kind of a way to add in that current relevancy of the trend of belting. But for me, I actually added the little twist of adding this strap belt because it just adds a little bit more edge for me. Okay, so for alternative look one, let's remove the belt and then change out the turtleneck for the shirt and then go with the Jeffrey Campbell Western boot and add the vest. We still ultimately have the core look 
look of the leggings with the oversized sweater. Now we're just kind of bringing in a different element. You ultimately have that yummy contrast that I love of the oversized with the tight. I wanted to bring in these knee high boots because these are definitely very sexy, very feminine. And I think it's a great way to counteract that oversized chunkiness of, of the top half of the outfit. Going to round out the look and elevate the look by doing this. Okay, so for alternative look two, we're going to remove the sweater. And we're gonna bring back that belt. Then we're gonna change to the Jeffrey Campbell tacked boot and replace the vest with the overcoat. So if we just had the shirt with the leggings, it would be a very basic look. Nothing wrong with a classic, you know, go-to. But if we wanna elevate it further, then yeah, adding the belt is going to add that little touch of edge, not only because of the edginess of the strap, belt, but also because it's going to add some shape. It's going to add a little bit of that sexy femininity of showing our feminine curves. And then by adding the long oversized coat, I just feel like it really helps to frame the look because we've got a shorter boot, uh, the legging, and then the tunic. We've got a lot of compartments happening here. So I just think that the long coat just frames that look, just kind of smooths out those edges. And so at the same time, elongates. There we go. Those were the three sort of transitioning looks. Core outfit number two. We've got the mousy jeans, white turtleneck, strap belt, the chukka boot, and the overcoat. Something as simple as a belt, as a good edgy belt, can completely change your look. Just a little detail like that will completely transform it. Then completing that sandwich of edge, bringing in that chukka boot at the bottom, it takes this look from basic to elevated edgy chic. Okay, so alternative look one. We're going to add the half zip sweater and we're going to change to the tacked boot and then we're going to switch out the overcoat for the blazer. I wanted to bring in the boot that was a little bit more simple, a little bit more stripped back, not a lot of details going on and have that tie in with the sweater. Alternative look two. Take off the sweater, but keep the blazer on, but let's button it. Then let's layer the vest on top of that. So this was a very easy change out, but extremely impactful. Just even something as simple as buttoning up a blazer can completely change a look, completely. This is one of the reasons why I love double-breasted blazers, because I think when you then button it up, it adds a whole nother detail, it adds a whole nother element to the look. Then adding the vest over top, I love this contrast because you've got the more street wear, sort of 90s vibe with the oversized vest, then contrasted with the sophisticated blazer. core outfit number three. We've got the G-Star jeans with the Ralph Lauren bare tee, the strap belt, the cozy duster and the chukka boot again with the overcoat. Again with that belt, it just adds so much fun to this look. The shoes have quite a bit of detail, the belt has quite a bit of detail, and the t-shirt has quite a bit of detail. So this is actually me really stepping outside of my comfort zone. But I think what I love about this is just all of the fun contrasts. And again, these are just little details that then elevate those basic pieces. And then just topping it off, framing the whole look with the overcoat, I think is just a great way to not only add in some sophistication, to round it out with some sophistication, but yes, also to then frame the look and elongate the look. Okay, so alternative look one, we're gonna switch to the tacked boot and change out the overcoat for the vest. So this is a real easy one. Just making those two little tweaks completely transforms the look. Cause you go from that sophisticated framing of the overcoat and then go to the more street, more casual vibe of the vest. And then, you know, taking away some of that detail with the chukka boot and going more streamlined with the tacked boot. I think it's a great counterpoint to a lot of the boyish 
elements that are happening with the dad jeans, the oversized t-shirt, and the oversized vest. So I think it's just a great way to kind of put that little cherry on top of femininity. Okay, and alternative look two, we're gonna switch out to the Western boot remove the sweater and the vest and add the blazer and the scarf. So I love this look because we've come back to the core of our casualness with the dad jean and the oversized t-shirt and then contrasted it with our go-to sophisticated blazer and sophisticated scarf. And then we're just adding that little cherry on top of the sexy femininity, femininity, I can't, can't say that word, femininity, femininity of the boot. I think just with those simple contrasts, you have a very effortless, edgy, chic look. Those are the nine looks right there. And with this amount of pieces within a capsule wardrobe, we could easily get 30 looks because of just those easy transitions. Once you have your capsule wardrobe started, choose a core outfit and see how far you can get by just making little tweaks, little change outs with that core outfit. Then start with another core outfit and see how many changes and tweaks you can make with that and see how many outfits you can get out of that. And it is just a great way to start off. And again, it's a great way to not make it so overwhelming when you're trying to think about just little individual outfits all the way through. It can be, it can be a lot. Whereas if you just start with one and just kind of then work off of that, play off of that, it's a lot more effortless a lot less overwhelming. Also in this way, you will get a lot more inspiration and you'll get a lot more creative. All right, my dears, I hope that today's episode was helpful. If so, give me that thumbs up, comment below, share with your friends and subscribe for future weekly episodes. You stay healthy, stay safe, love and support each other and we will definitely be chatting soon. Bye.